Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Makosi Today. So we are actually on week six from the beginning of the year and we were doing mental health, emotional health, financial health, physical health and spiritual health. Today we close with spiritual health because last week I was cooking at a friend's house. So why do I need to look after my spiritual health daily? Statistically, people with religious beliefs or stronger faith recovered from things like heart attack quicker than people with lesser faith. And as a cardiac nurse, I can testify to that. I worked in a cardiac ward for two years before I went off to do TV. So people who had something they believed in pulled through surgery quicker and better than those who had lesser faith. And I can use my own example. I think my faith played a huge role when I was fighting breast cancer. But before I start to talk about the five things you can do every single day to look after your spiritual health, I was on Clubhouse today, midday baby, midday. I'm always in that room every Monday. And you find that people are going through a lot. We had conversations about therapy, we had conversations about words like momentum, conversations about words like allow, and we prayed at the end. My parents were guests, guests appeared at the end, my mom prayed for us. And I just realized the importance of prayer, not just in my life, but when you surround yourself with people who are like-minded, you see how high and the place they put prayer in their lives. Number one thing to do to take care of your spiritual health every single day. Look for the good in yourself and in others. The Bible tells us that love yourself and then love others the way you love yourself. Two, keep a journal. I keep a gratitude journal. Um, let me show you my gratitude journal. I hope it's down here somewhere. Oh, 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 yeah. I always run off. So this is my gratitude journal where I come back every evening and I write the three things I am grateful for. Number four, talk to others who share the same beliefs. Like I was on Clubhouse today and we literally learned from each other. Again, the famous Bible says, iron sharpens iron. And then number five, prayer. Personally, I find being, being grateful, uttering a prayer of gratitude every moment does the most for me. So pray. Until next week, remember to subscribe, like, and share so that you don't miss anything Makosi today. Hey, before you go, I believe in you and I'm not going to stop until you believe in you. Before I give you a bonus point, um, I have a mentorship program that I'm running to mentor a thousand people on the continent of Africa so that we can be the game changers on the continent of Africa. And in this mentorship program, I have so many people from all over the continent who come in and do Zoom meetings with you. So if you want to be part of that 1000, send me an email in the comment below. I always want to give a bonus point to those who stay till the end. Read a religious text, a Bible or a Quran, and take time or any text that, you know, means something to you and your religion. And take time to meditate on what the words you have read mean to you.